time to talk about value and you know, shading. What we're going to do is we're going to make some value scales today. And to help you do that, well, first of all, what you're going to do is take your sheet of paper, fold it in half, and we're going to work on this top half to make our value scales. To do that, all you need to do is make three bars along the top. And this last one, we can make it a little bit skinnier. And I'll explain why later. Okay, to go ahead and make your value scales, what we're going to do is we want to find the middle. So going with the middle of this one, you can go ahead and bring that line down for your other ones. And then for this section right here, we can split it up in two, well, three sections by making two lines. Right? Same thing on this side. Split it up into three sections by adding two lines. And then you can bring those lines all the way down to your other scales. This is pretty messy because I'm doing it without ruler, but just so you can get an idea of how it's supposed to look uh, really fast. Okay? Next thing what we're going to do when we go into our value scales is we're going to learn about the three different shading techniques. One of them is called hatching, another one is cross hatching, and the last one is stippling. So let me show you what those look like really quick. Hatching, what you're doing is making a whole bunch of marks run in one direction. You'll notice that it's not a zigzag. I'm not going back and forth like this. What I'm doing is I'm making a line, lifting my pencil, Make another line, lifting up my pencil, and another line, okay? But you don't want to make it look, you know, just like you're using a ruler. It's just a really quick movement. And whenever I'm shading, what I tend to do, I hold my pencil differently from whenever I'm writing. Whenever I'm drawing, I'll hold it out, maybe even turn it. The lighter I'm trying to go, I'll even hold it way further back so I can make really light lines, okay? So anyways, that's hatching. Cross-hatching is similar. You have your strokes going in one direction. The reason it's called cross-hatching is because you turn your paper or you can turn your wrist and go back over it the opposite direction. And your, your strokes are crossing over each other. Uh, and that's why it's called cross-hatching. The last one is stippling. And in my class, this is the way I want you guys to do it. Instead of just banging straight down on your pencil or your marker or whatever it is that we're using, we're going to make short little dashes, okay? And you're holding your, your drawing tool at an angle. So instead of, like, let's say if you were using a marker, if you're just jamming on the tip, your tip would either go back inside into the marker or you'd end up with a big fat, like mushroom. And to avoid that, you just do these little dashes from a side angle and you'll still get the same effect but you won't be messing up your tool. If we ever use oil pastels as you're working you can twist the oil pastel and that'll keep it sharp the whole time you're doing it. So you have hatching, cross hatching, and stippling. And what you're going to do on your value scales, this over here is going to be our darkest value. This would be 100% and this is going to be as black as you can go. So pressing down as hard as I can, almost busting the lead on my pencil, I'm going to come in here and shade this area as dark as I can go. If this is black, as you can imagine, 0% is going to be absolutely nothing, right? Here in the middle, let's say we have a 50%. And just like money, we're going to have our 75 over here, 25, and then we're going to go really light. We're going to do a 10%. Okay. So if this is as dark as I can go, and this is as light as I can go, well, this is completely white. 10% is going to be as light as I can go. So like I said, I'm going to hold my pencil from really far back. And I'm going to make these hatch marks as light just with the very weight of the pencil, right? Going fast. Trying to go as light as I can go. I don't even know if you can see that in the video. But the next one is going to be a little bit darker than 10%. I'm not going to shade the whole thing just for speed and time. Next one, I go a little bit stronger. And then even darker. So there's more pressure as I'm working on these, right? 
So they should gradually be getting darker. Same thing, whenever you go to do your value scale for, this one's gonna be hatching. So we'll label it over here, hatching. Next one is gonna be cross hatching. Okay, same thing, come over here with my hatch marks, go on as dark as I can, all the way across. And then I can either turn my wrist or turn my paper and go back over it the other direction. This is really good for those really dark areas, cross hatching. And as light as I can go, just floating my pencil over here, opposite direction. And you would fill in the rest of these uh, boxes gradually getting darker. Last one, we're going to use stippling. Same thing. So over here, what I'm going to do is my dashes are going to be really close together and they're going to be heavy. As opposed to on this side, they're going to be very light and they're going to be more separated. There's more distance in between my little dash marks. And you would go ahead and do that exercise all the way across. So trying to get a darker value on 100%, lighter value over here on 10%.